today I'm with a business that we all need in our lives. It is called Keep Keeping Organized. Kristen is the owner here and she takes care of everybody's problems that we have with being messy. She will organize your office, your playroom, your garage, your pantry, any room that you have, she can fix it. So this is Kristen. Kristen. Hi. <laughs> Um, so tell us, how did you get involved with being a professional organizer? Uh, I think I started organizing my things so much when I was young. I didn't even realize it was strange. I didn't realize until I went to college. I went to college, I moved in with my freshman roommate. I just assumed everybody color coordinated their closet, alphabetized them by color. <laughs> um, and I'm an only child. So growing up, I didn't have siblings in my house to see that other people were messy, my parents were very neat, and I just had this knack for it. And I realized that that I had something that other people couldn't really do themselves. And I love to help other people. So I really just kind of tried to put the two together. I took the jump after COVID because I I had bartended before and taught dance before, and I have a marketing degree and a business degree, and I never took the leap of faith because I needed to pay my bills and not not jump. So after COVID, I, I ran with it. I figured people's houses were gonna be crazy after homeschooling and being home, and once it was time for, for you to be able to go into other people's homes again, I really just felt like, They'll call me when they're ready. I built my website then, I mm -hmm. built my business plan, and little by little, it just started taking off. And it's been really awesome just to be able to help people get their sanity, stop looking for things, save time. Right. I don't know, it just feels like, it feels good. Right, it feels like I'm helping. We are in her house, which is the most organized house I've ever been in. <laughs> this is her son's playroom. I mean, really. Like, it is awesome how organized it is. Um, so what are some of the rooms that people ask you to organize? I think when I started, I imagined everybody would want their, their bedroom closet done. I really prepped to be doing so much with clothes and I think 75% of my appointments are kitchens and pantries, which I guess makes sense. I don't think I fully, anticipated it being that way, but it's the heart of the home. It gets messy three to four times a day. Everyone's hands are in it. Yes. So it seems kitchens and pantries are where people really want like right. me to always start. Yes. I always say that's where everybody hangs out is in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. So where do you service? Like what areas do you go to? This is pretzel. You can see pretzel and pretzel a little sweet. Yes. Um, I, well, I do all oh, there she stuff. is. See, that's a pretzel. The camera pretzel. <laughs> She's, she's learning her, her <laughs> commands. Um, I do South Jersey primarily. I do cross the bridge and I will travel after 30 miles for, um, for mileage fees. But it seems like most of my appointments are in Mantua, Mullet Hill, Washington Township, Sicklerville, um, Collingswood, Haddonfield, Cherry Hill. Kind of all right in the hub that we all probably yes. go to anyway to shop. Yes, <laughs> so I'm sure you've done some beautiful closets. I have. I've done a few, but honestly, I've done a lot more beautiful kitchens. But really? I would love to do more closets. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. So, um, what are, I guess, so you answered that question, what people mostly ask for is kitchens. And garages. Garages. And garages. Yes. So, do you have specials, like when somebody says, I need her. I need her to clean up my life. Mm -hmm. Do you have any specials? Yes. Yeah. A lot of times, I, on my website, I, uh, keeporganized.net. I will post maybe three times a year, a 10% off, a 15% off. Sometimes if I just have a slower week, I'll throw a flash sale up on my Facebook or my Instagram and just say first person to book for six hours on Thursday, I'll do 25% off. I'll throw a package together. Um, and then a, a lot of other times things are more customized to what people need. If they just need decluttering, if they need actual organizing and putting it back in a system and labels, then I do that for them. I kind of am just about making, being flexible and somebody calling and saying, this is my budget, this is what I really need. And then I try my best, I'll even help people virtually if it's that they have a smaller budget and they just really need help. I will do a two hour appointment with them and we can 
FaceTime and I'll give them um, tips and product suggestions and then we'll do one more FaceTime to check back and if they're struggling with an area then I give them more advice. I'm really just trying to help people get a better hold of their life. I really believe that like physical clutter is mental and for me that's why my house is so organized all the time because I can't think straight if I'm surrounded by piles of, of they just look like to-do lists to me. Right. And you know right. when everything is just overflowing it makes it brings me mental chaos right and i think a lot of people feel it right well if anything you should go and teach a class on how to how to fold clothes you should see <laughs> her drawers they are like they're like pieces of paper they look like and it's clothes in a drawer i mean i my husband would never want me to be able to fold that good because then i could fit more stuff in there that is true <laughs> so if people want to find you, tell them what your Instagram and Facebook is. So my website is www.keeporganized.net. My Facebook is keeporganized.nj. I am a little less on my business Facebook. I try to put more before and afters, client reviews. It's just easier for me on Instagram. And my Instagram handle is keeporganized.nj. And I will answer messages that way. My email is kristen at keeporganized.net. And you can always shoot me a text, a DM, my website's very friendly and I normally get back within 24 hours. Yes. Her website's awesome. That's where I did a little research before we came. And Kristen eats cake for breakfast, so she had me a cake. <laughs> but I said I definitely have to get to know her. But it was so nice meeting you, Kristen. Awesome. Thank Sherry, you for thank having you. me. Thank you. As always, if anybody has a small business or a place that you like to visit, please hit me up. I'd love to try it out. Thanks. Thank you, Kristen. Thank you. Mm -hmm.